What is up guys, welcome to CJ's Vlogs and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go through the Ferrari 296 GTB. I'm going to go through a few of the options, the Fiorano package on the car, as well as just taking an overall look at the aesthetic. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so the Ferrari 296 GTB, um, the first Ferrari with the V6, uh, a V6 turbo hybrid uh, rear wheel drive with 830 horsepower and a massive amount of torque, a 0 to 102.9 seconds, 0 to 207.3 and as Enrico Gallera says, it is the definition of fun to drive um, and it's, it is also such a beautiful car taking many inspirations from classical cars uh, the likes of the 250 LM being the biggest inspiration for this car and of course it harnesses the next generation of Ferrari design it is the new design language that goes into this car um, and additionally I have driven the 296 GTB it is available on Fortnite so uh, it is a, an interesting game that that has the first option now of having the car to drive. Um, I drove it in the gameplay uh, in Battle Labs and there's a few quests that you can do with the Ferrari 296 GTB. Um, it's very fun. I'm, I'm massively into gaming so I look forward to it coming to the next Forza Motorsport, uh, perhaps the next Project Cars and uh, even Forza Horizon five that will come out next uh, summer so very exciting stuff so this is a nice example that's here this car is uh, Nero Opaco which is a matte color matte black um, and it's got the carbon wheels and a lot of yellow details and a lot of carbon on the interior and the exterior as well as the carbon racing seats and the yellow inserts um, now this is a beautiful car that's been shown on our configurator screen but with our next-gen configurator we are going to uh, go back to change model and we're going to go down to the Ferrari 296 GTB. That is Rosso Imola with the Argento Nürburgring library from a set of Fiorano pack. Uh, but we are going to go open this car and you can see that we're greeted with various configurations that we can have. There were two launch cars that you would have seen in the world premiere video if you had watched it. Um, the one was the Rosso Imola. Uh, which is a new deep red metallic that is available as well as the Grigio Scuro which was a set of Fiorano which was Grigio Scuro with the yellow details and that was also very aggressive very strong but as with many of these configuration videos we always start with the default configuration and we sort of build our way through the options um, there is a vast amount of options as I've mentioned before we can do a very detailed uh, configuration here or you can go to the Atelier, um, which is the first level above the dealer configuration. And then, of course, you can do TaylorMade, which is just incredible. And I think because this car is, you know, inspired by the 250 LM, it would be absolutely brilliant for somebody to take one of the 250 LM race cars and place that inspiration on here. But I'm sure that will come. Um, as you can see, extremely beautiful car, very strong lines. Uh, very elegant, very stylish, those 250 humps on the rear, that uh, clear glass engine bay and these swooping um, buttresses that continue um, aero bridges as, as they're called and also very first time as well a central exhaust on a road car and uh, nestled in here is also the active spoiler which contributes up to 250 kilograms of downforce um, to the car at 200 k's an hour but very very beautiful car very very elegant so for my preference i always like to change um, uh, the, the areas that you spec the car so i think we can go to the fantasy circuit um, as this car is its story is fun to drive so um, we sort of go with that flow and there's nothing more fun than taking a high-performance supercar such as the 296 GTB 
around the circuit. So today you can see that this is the standard configuration, no options whatsoever, um, in Rosso Scuderia, which forms part of our solid colors that are standard on the car. Um, we can open our paints and be greeted by all sorts of colors. We've got the Rosso Imola, which is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a lot about uh, as a mix between Rosso Portofino and Rosso Fuoco, um, but just brings out the lines and really captures the highlights and the shadows of, of different parts of the bodywork. Um, we've also got Cana Deep Foot Chile, which is a gunmetal gray. Very, very nice. My personal favorite, Blue Tour de France. Stunning color. Um, we've even got the vintage paints such as Verde 690, Celeste Metallizato, very smooth, very elegant color. Um, we've got the Rosso Formula One 2007, which is the same paint color that Kimi Raikkonen, um, that was on the car when Kimi Raikkonen won the F1 Drivers Championship and Constructors in 2007. Um, and here's the color Rosso Focal, which I said is very similar to the Rosso Imola and a very strong Giallo Triplo Strato, um, which really brings out the aggression um, of this car. Um, and then various two layer special paints, such as Nero Stellato, which is black paint with a gold flake in. Uh, we've got blue electrical, which is also very nice. A tinge of purple, but very strong. Um, as well as Verde Zeltvik, which is a very dark green. Uh, it looks almost black on the screen here. But I think we should go with something that we can work with. You know, it, it, it's it's a car that you want to decide whether you're going to go for the Assetto Fiorano or not. And then with the Assetto Fiorano, whether you're going to go for the, the livery or not. So uh, I think let's go for a color like Verde 690, a very nice green color. Let's keep it classic. Let's keep it clean. And then we can sort of work our way from there. This being a rear engined, mid rear engine car, having a solid color is, you know, it's, it's, it's a great choice because it still brings out the lines. It still shows the strength of the style of the car. And we don't feel like too much is being left out. And of course you can have the Scuderia shields on the side of the car, which we will place on right now. You can see it's painted on, it's, it's badged on the embedded in the bodywork on the uh, the front fender an additional option is that you could have it painted in as well which is a, an airbrushed logo which is also very very stunning um, these are the standard room design is this option here which is this two by five spoke and of course you can have it in the chrome painted or you can have it in the grigio corsa which is the um, um, matte gray, it's Scuderia gray. Um, and then you can also have your forged wheel, which is sort of a twirl to it. Of course, you can have it in a matte silver and a diamond finish as well, which looks very much, very, very, very nice on this car. So it brings out the side profile. And then of course, we've got the carbon wheels, which will be our option today. Uh, that saves four kilogram per wheel and it reduces the, the unsprung mass, which is very important when you come to high performance driving and feel. And as you already can see, the side profile is absolutely gorgeous of this car. With that, we'll go for the titanium wheel bolts. Carbon fiber wheel caps are an option, so it would turn your yellow caps on the wheel to carbon fiber, which sort of brings down the side profile, but can still make the car look very sporty. But we'll leave it as yellow today and a caliper color. Now with green, your traditional approaches are yellow, um, or you can go for grid or silverstone, or some even go for aluminum, which looks very nice. Um, I think today we will keep it with the, the black caliper because we are focusing on the bodywork. Uh, we want most of the attention to go to the side profile of the car. Um, and we really want those carbon wheels to show their strength as well in the aesthetic. Of course, with the carbon fiber, you can have matte carbon on the outside or you can have glossy carbon. Um, the carbon travels from through the air vent down the side here, all the way down the, the underdoor cover. Um, and then we also have in the diffuser and the spoiler. So we can 
for the sake of the exercise we'll go for the front spoiler and you'll see that it's carbon now the underdoor cover will be in carbon the rear diffuser the engine cover the filter box cover um, so the entire entire exterior will have carbon fiber which complements the exterior of this car adds to the way uh, the aesthetic looks um, the sportiness of the aesthetic now we can go inside you can see that it is the new Ferrari interior it's new seats that special um, edge gate style uh, gearbox in the in the center console you've got the latest steering wheel with the traditional Manatino and the e-Manatino digital touch buttons wherever you can see passenger display and of course uh, the digital uh, screen for infotainment and uh, everything pertinent to the car so what we can do is now rotate our camera around so that we can get a full look of the interior and choose an interior color now with green naturally um, it, it opens a, a wide variety for you to choose the interior so um, there's great examples like crema which is a very light interior we've also got charcoal which is just a shade up from black uh, we've got koyo which is very nice as well Ooh, that does look very nice um, we've also got terra bruscata which is deep brown color we've got beige tradizioni Iroco, and even chocolato but something caught my attention when we went past here and I think Terra Bruscata is the right amount of brown, uh, the right amount of tan and uh, it can allow us to really explore the different options here and then obviously with your carpets there's various colors for carpets so we are going to stick with the black carpets for now and then we can get on to our seats. So these are your standard seats, we call them comfort seats. You'll be able to have specific design seats with lines uh, inserted of leather in, in these areas or you'll also be able to have the Daytona style seats which will add the Daytona stripes into the seat but for this exercise we can go for the carbon fiber racing seats very strong very sporty these are one kilo lighter than the standard comfort seats but actually no my mistake these are one kilo lighter than the current racing seats that we have um, and adds to the sporty feel of the car without neglecting too much in comfort because it still has these blocked areas of leather and you can have that seat in medium large or extra large size you know Italian is very small so I suggest that you go for extra large when you choose this if you'd like to resell it at some point someday um, with that we'll go for the racing seat lifter um, which will provide us the ability to adjust the height of the seat um, if you have the standard comfort seats you will be able to opt for fully electric seats with memory or ventilated seats which will have heating and cooling which is very nice um, you also have the option of colored safety belts and four-point harnesses um, the way we're going I think we could try with the four-point harnesses I think that looks very aggressive and black is very neutral between the rest of the colors of the interior um, and you can see that we can also go for a green stitch which is Filo Speciale Verde um, and then we can also go for horses on the headrest in green which is very nice now I'm going to try and put the, s the details of the car into black there we go so those are the two leather details that flow through the seat we'll keep that in black keep it neutral um, you know this is a car that we are building to be very sporty and of course the four-point harness is to hold us in place when we are really exploring the performance of the car I see here we have PIPO we can insert some green into the car Okay, we can actually leave that off and we can let's remove the colored inserts so that we can keep our Terra Bruscata door panels the interior is looking very nice with the Alcantara door panels Alcantara lower dash um, you can see it there 
with the inserts of the color through the dashboard. So normally um, your low dashboard color would match these details. So if the dash was red, you know, um, that would be red as well. We'll keep the dash black at the top because of light and reflections. Um, there's various leather pieces and Alcantara pieces that you can mix and match into different parts of the car, but we're going to keep this very simple, very clean, very elegant. Um, we can also have a dedication plate in silver, um, which will be mounted on the rear wall of the car, but I think the camera angle doesn't allow for us to see it. So that is fine, but if you want to put a message or you want to put the car logo, that would be cool. Um, and then of course, when we turn around, we currently don't have any carbon fiber on the interior, so we can absolutely go wild because it's open budget, it's YouTube. So we'll go for the uh, carbon fiber steering wheel and the LEDs. That will be the steering wheel upper with the LEDs, the lower section as well as this insert and the paddles. Um, we can go for the instrument cluster, which will be all of this area here. We can also go for the dashboard inserts, which will continue flowing through here and around the air vents. Uh, we can go for the upper tunnel trim, which will be this section here. We can go for the sole kick, which you will see later. That is when you exit the car on the sole, you will see Ferrari and even have door panels. So now the door panels differ because when you go for the door panels in the standard car, you just get this piece here. But if you go for the Assetto Fiorano package, the entire door panel section that gets finished in carbon is made from one piece, which is just incredible. Um, and then I would have the interior finished in matte carbon because that's personal preference. Um, I just find it a little bit more classier. And you can also see that if you go for the Assetto Fiorano package and we choose it, you can see this entire panel now is carbon fiber. And you can see this very tactical look with these three balls mounted in there. Um, and also with the Assetto Fiorano pack, it adds to the carbon fiber. Um, for example, previously the, the carbon fiber flap here was just a single piece and it was flat. And then now when we add it, uh, it sort of swoops up and increases the aerodynamic. It will also have the Multimatic suspension. Um, and of course, these are really fine adjustments as well as the carbon fiber engine cover over there, um, which is normally in body color, but now in carbon fiber with the Lexan uh, rear, rear, uh, rear plastic. It's a special racing material, Lexan engine cover. Um, so the Assetto Fiorano will ha add a few carbon fiber um, components. It will increase the aero. It will also um, provide the driver with that, I'd say that 10 or 20% that you just desire extra when you drive a car to the limit and also providing the confidence as you drive and you explore your limits, you experience the car uh, within your own limits because let me tell you, this car is extremely, extremely capable. And as I said, you could also have a livery option. So you could have a yellow, which makes it very, very aggressive and very strong, it flows from the front to the rear and even into the rear section here, into the perforated area as standard, um, or as, as, as an option in that they're standard forms. You can have the yellow or you can have the Argento, which is the silver. And I think that looks very classy. Um, otherwise, you can add the Assetto without the um, library, which will keep the car focused on the body color look. But I think for us, the yellow is very strong and the uh, silver is very classy. Why not? <laughs> I think the silver looks good because then we've got that, that dynamic of the silver flowing front to back. Uh, it's a few hues off the carbon fiber and you can have it match the brake caliper and especially the silver that is on the uh, engine intake. So we can leave it at that. As you can see, yellow will be very strong. But if you request, you can put in a special request and you'll be able to choose whichever color you'd like. So for example, you had a white car and you wanted a blue line or a yellow car and you wanted a purple line. 
or yours. It's Ferrari, it's personalization. Um, of course, with tires, we can have the high performance tires. We'll upgrade our Cup 2s to Cup Rs. Uh, we'll place that on this car here. And uh, there's various carpet options and we can add the Lexan door glasses as well. So you'll see it will change from the glass, which is slightly tinted, to the Lexan, which is uh, clear. And you can see there that engine bay, that strong 2.9 liter V6, 120 degrees open, turbo, massive amounts of power. Absolutely projects this car to infinity and beyond. Now, I must warn you, we're going to take the Assetto Fiorana pack off for a moment because with the equipment now you have your parking camera, your surround view which is a full 360 and your ADAS which is your advanced front driving camera, your back radar, your electrochromic area mirror, your front and rear sensors. You will also have a suspension lifter and adaptive headlights. So with the Assetto Fiorano because of the Multimatic shock absorbers and suspension you won't be able to have lifting suspension so we will take the setter off in order to have those things because we want to be able to drive this wherever we want but if you live in a country where you don't need lifting suspension per se um, you know the roads are pretty good then i'd say you don't need it these cars uh, if you're careful you can clear pretty much anything of course we want uh, the surround view with the front and rear parking sensors so we can have a full 360 apple carplay wireless smartphone charger premium hi-fi um, you can have a fire extinguisher which will be in the passenger's footwell which would be cool um, but let's keep that away from this car for the moment and you can have anti-stone chipping foam from the factory um, and of course with many ferrari models you can have the luggage sets but i think this is gorgeous this verde 690 it's a very strong color the right amount of detail in the carbon in in badges on the side and then of course that beautiful interior of terra briscata with all of that carbon fiber let's have a look at the seat from this angle oh, that's beautiful this is how i'd have my car i i love ferrari but i'm not a massive fan of the red cars so that's why in these videos we always try and stay away from the red away from the tradition um, but this is just an incredible car and I think that we have built something amazing together so this is just a run through of all the options you know you can spec your 296 however you want and I think you'd enjoy it and I hope that when you order one that you will take pleasure in the true fun to drive you know understand the expression of style in this design and really appreciating the engineering that these teams go through to make these amazing machines uh, that we all love to look at, to drive and to experience. So uh, be sure to mail me. I get a lot of emails from owners saying thank you for the video, the insights and you know a little bit of advice on how to spec their own cars. So I hope this will help you understand and that when you engage with your dealer that you'll be able to uh, understand a little bit about the car before you build yours. We expect our car, our first demo to arrive uh, towards the end of next year. So we'll see we'd love to make a video on that as well so uh, thank you very much for watching be sure to like comment suggestions and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one cheers